Hi everyone, this is Sandy Welch and welcome to Better and Better this morning. And welcome, thank you for being on here this morning. We are going to talk about the fact that comparison is just a crock. It is just a crock. There's no validity to it. There's no reason to um, measure yourself against somebody else. And so we're going to talk about how, why you don't and what happens when you measure yourself against somebody else. But thanks for being on Better and Better. Please mark subscribe. Click on the subscribe button when you go to my YouTube channel. And then please click on the little bell. Ding, ding, ding goes the bell. And you'll know every time I get a brand new video out. So this morning we're talking about comparison and how really it is just really not good and you know guys we're on Facebook right now as I'm doing this Facebook live and then I'll uh, download this and move it on to my YouTube channel but when we're on Facebook or really out in the world anywhere you know what we're doing we're looking at other people and we're probably comparing ourselves to others and we are looking at them hey Barb good to see you on this morning we compare ourselves to the people that we know, the people that we admire, the people that we look up to. And Facebook is such a fake place for comparison. And the reason I say that is because, you know, on Facebook, the only thing we put on Facebook is kind of our Hollywood short reel, <laughs> right? You see people's best. No, we do see some crazy worst, right? But usually people are only putting their best moments, their best pictures, their uh, most beautiful things that they have. When their yard is looking great, they take pictures of their yard. When their dinner is looking awesome, they take a picture of their dinner. When they are out on a, um, a date and it's a beautiful setting, they take a picture of that. You know, we don't really take a picture of ourselves when we are, you know, got a robe on and our hair's a mess and uh, that kind of stuff. But people are real and you are real and I am real and we're all different and we don't need to use Facebook as a place for us to get our personal value really you're comparing your worst to somebody else's best and that is never healthy oh that's so unhealthy so I want you to know that today I'm imperfect and you're imperfect all God's people are imperfect we are imperfect creatures but guess what we are perfectly imperfect and so today when you try to take who you are and you compare it and measure yourself against who you are and what you see somebody else is their best you see them at their best you measure yourself up against your worst and your shortness and the things you don't do perfectly we always come up short we always don't measure up but I want you to know this morning that you do measure up. This comparison really is such a wasted exercise. And not only is it a wasted exercise, it is a discouraging exercise. We're talking this morning about comparison. Comparing yourself to somebody else and how it just never works out. Now. I want to tell you that the other person is a great person and guess what you're a great person too i am great i am worthy i am valuable and i am important say that with me i am great i am worthy i am valuable and i am important god made me and therefore i am important therefore i am gifted therefore i am special God made me and therefore I am important to this world. I am never alone. I am never abandoned. God is with me and I am important. And what I bring to the world is important. So you are not supposed to bring to the world what somebody else brings to the world. You're supposed to bring to the world what you bring to the world. I started these Sunday morning moments back um, on the very first of this year of 2018. I had no idea that I would do this every Sunday. All I know is I wanted to do it one Sunday and then I started doing a second Sunday. And then a few Sundays went by and I really felt like it was a part of me using the struggles and the darkness and the hard times that I went through in my life that God and hard work on my personal self got me out of to share it and encourage somebody else. So therefore, I take my darkness and my struggle and the victory that I've seen in it and that still I struggle with every day and I bring it to you to 
hopefully inspire you and educate you and for you to be better. That's my whole vision and goal for my life is to help myself get better and to help you get better. That's what we do. We bring our scars. We bring our difficulties. We bring our struggles. We bring our victories to the world for God to use them to help somebody else. We do not bring our perfection to the world because guess what? When you, when you bring your perfection, people think they can't measure up. So who are you comparing yourself to that you don't measure up to? Who are you looking at that you measure yourself up against and you don't measure up? Who are you idolizing and you are thinking, I want to be like her and you know it's never going to happen? There are so many people I can name in my life that I would love to be like them, but it's never going to happen. You know why? Because I'm not them. And guess what? You're not them either. Comparison is a crock. It does not bring you value. Guess what? It doesn't bring you hope. Guess what? It brings you discouragement. It brings you being ineffectiveness. Because when you think, think you're not good enough, you quit working. When you think you're not good enough and you're not worthy, then you just stop. Your action stops. Your belief stops and therefore your action stops. Today you have to shift from comparison of someone else from one crock, uh, it's crock pot, to an old ancient crock. They're too different. They're so, they serve different purposes. They look different, but guess what? They're both beautiful and they're both valuable. It is amazing what we have to bring to the world. So this is what I want to tell you, is when you value who you are, when you know who you are, and you bring your gifts and talents into the world, and you bring your scars to the world, and you bring your struggles and the things you've overcome into the world, you become very real and very relatable and very believable and very encouraging. It is not about bringing our perfection to the world. It is about bringing ourselves to the world, scarred but better, bruised but better. Not as, not as, a little bit smarter than we used to be, getting better all the time. So bring your best self because when you bring who you are and you are working on yourself and you are improving yourself and you are focusing on being the best you that you can be, that brings so much joy Oh, it brings vitality. It brings encouragement. It brings a lack of judgment. When you compare yourself to someone else, you literally are staying in judgment against yourself all the time. And guess what? You never win when you're in judgment. You cannot be in judgment against yourself because you're comparing yourself to someone else. Imperfect is fine. God loves you. He knows you're imperfect. And guess what? We're not fooling anybody else that we're not perfect. They know we're not perfect also. We just need to accept it, get better, love each other, and be ourselves. Be you. Show up in the world as you. Don't show up in the world as somebody else. And when you start showing up in the world as yourself, you are going to see ease. Breathe that in. You're going to see ease become a part of your life. You're going to see joy be a part of your life. Just breathe that in. Joy and ease. You're going to see fun be a part of your life and effectiveness be a part of your life because you're not comparing yourself with anybody but yourself. You are the only comparison that you give yourself just that you're getting better and better every day. Please click on my YouTube channel. Please click subscribe and please click the little um, bell and no, I'm here for you. I love y'all so much. Please feel free to share this video. Please share any video that you find. I've got about 20 videos now on my YouTube channel. I just pray God will bless you and use them and you'll be encouraged by them. And um, that you'll just go forth and not compare yourself with anybody this week except your very best self. So be great, get better, and be determined that I am going to show up this week as myself my best self. Much love to you. Have a great week. Bye-bye.